How to select the right holster can be pretty confusing. I mean, let's face it, most police officers don't get to go out to the store and buy their equipment. Their agency is going to provide it for you. So I'm going to share with you some real quick tips that I think are going to be real beneficial and help you along the way. First of all, with Uncle Mike's, we have two versions. They have what's called the Mirage in a Pro 3 or a Pro 2, and they have in a plain um, nylon. In fact, the Mirage actually comes in a plain nylon as well. In fact, we know what nylon does. It's susceptible to climate and various weather, terrain, but it's very durable. The Mirage is pretty unique because it almost looks like leather, doesn't it? In fact, it has an outside laminate that protects it from all the bloodborne pathogens and other types of oils and properties that it might come into contact with on a normal everyday basis. There's a couple of questions you have to ask yourself before you go out to the store and pick a holster. As a patrol officer, number one, I want a Pro 3 or a Level 3 retention holster. I want that bad guy to have to work very hard. But let's face it, if your holster is not designed off gross motor skills, it's going to be very hard for you to draw that weapon when your life depends on it the most. So the Pro 2 is actually a level of retention where it's actually you have to break the snap, access your firearm, and draw it to engage your threat. The Pro 3 actually requires you to grip, grab, and squeeze, basically utilizing all gross motor skill functions. Because let's face it, under times of stress, we're going to be acting in the midbrain. In fact, you know, think about it. You can draw any piece of equipment off your duty belt, but when you draw your firearm, your life's going to depend on it the most. So there is some care and effort that you need to put into selecting the right holster. We're going to talk about reading the package, knowing what to look for, how to inspect it, and how to make sure you stay safe.